In this tutorial, I will do almost the same thing as I did in the previous one, but instead of doing everything manually, I'm going to use the Actor Framework Project Provider. The Project Provider is an add-on that you can download, or if you have LabVIEW 2015, then it is already included. In the previous tutorial, I chose New Class from this context menu, with the project provider, I can choose New Actor, automatically creating my Actor class. This will be my Actor Base class. It inherits the Actor class by default, and a separate subdirectory will automatically be created for it in my project directory. I will then create my sender. My new actor base is not automatically added to the list here, so I will have to browse for it. Then I create my receiver, and now my base class is here. My receiver actor will have a receive text VI as before. The project provider needs something to work with, so I create my VI first. When that is done, I will right click on the VI and go to the Actor Framework menu option and then choose Create Message. The message class has now been created for me. In my main VI, I will this time around only start the Receiver Actor and I will have the Launch VI open the Actor Core front panel for me. The sender will this time be started from inside the receiver as a nested actor. And I will do that in the actor core. The launch nested actor VI can only be called from within an actor. Note that I need to first launch the nested VI, then wire the return caller actor to the parent method. I must do this so that the receiver saves data about the nested sender actor. Now I will use the sender actor core to create my message and send it to the receiver. I do that by using the automatically created send message VI and by using the read caller in queuer VI. I can retrieve the enqueuer for the receiver. And now I want to run everything. Here you can see the message box. And here are the actor core front panels for the sender and receiver. In the project window, little locks have appeared along some things. These are files that cannot be edited while associated VIs are running. Now if I were to stop the actors, the files will be unlocked. But if I just close the front panels without stopping, the files will remain locked and I don't have any way to stop the actors. If I run the main VI again, then new instances of the actor VIs will be started. 
the only thing I can do to stop the existing instances is to close the project window. Opening their actor core front panels is a popular way of handling actors. One way of stopping the actors is to send a stop message to the receiver in a close VI event handler. When a root actor is stopped, all nested actors get stopped as well. Closing the receiver front panel, all the actors are terminated and the locks disappear.